is Mr. Rice. Welcome to the prokaryotic cell page. If you see here, you're going to have the same what is if the animal cell and plant cell. If you have not been there yet, that's totally okay. This is a great place to start. So, you will see here, we have our prokaryotes, and it tells you a little bit about what they are. And it tells you a little bit of more information that I'll let you read on your own in your own time, okay? If we keep going down on this website, you're going to see a couple different assignments, all right? We have assignment four and assignment five. Now, there are other assignments throughout the web page, but that's totally okay. You don't have to start anywhere. You can just kind of mix and match and go as you please, okay? The first one we have here is assignment four, which is prokaryotic cells. It's a very similar to some of the other websites we've gone to, um, but this is the same thing. Your instructions are gonna be over here. And the first thing it tells you to do is familiarize yourself with prokaryotic cells, okay? You're gonna wanna click this button and it's gonna take you to an interactive website, okay? Here we have, it's a bacterial cell, so if you have been reading, you'll know what a prokaryote is. And you have all these different um, organelles within this prokaryote, okay? When you click on something, it's gonna send you to another thing and it's gonna tell you different definitions and functions of each one, all right? What, it, what you, uh, once you've gotten yourself familiar, or once you've familiarized yourself with this, I'm sorry, you will go back and it says right here to write down three organelles that you've learned about on the function uh, on the discussion page. So you can either click here, this would be a link to the discussion page. Whenever you see a yellow word in the text, typically it is a link, it's a hyperlink, it's going to send you somewhere else. Or you can come up here and click discussions here, or you can even go to the bottom of this web page and you'll see right here, discussions is going to be here as well. So we have three different places, so I'll just click down here. Maybe. All right. And we get to our discussions page. All right. So here's my assignment four. And you can use the website again right here. It'll send it to you. And you guys are just going to leave a comment. So it looks like someone's already left a comment on here. Let's see if it loads. So yes it has. So Lauren's already on top of the game and's already left a comment. So all you need to do is you need to put your name here. You don't have to put an email address. That's not necessary. And your answer right here, okay? I don't care how you do it. As long as you submit it and it's done, you'll get the grade for it, okay? But let's go back to this prokaryotic cell for a little bit and kind of look at some of the other activities we have planned. So that's assignment four. Assignment 5 is eukaryotic versus prokaryotic. Within this web pages, and you'll look on the animal cell and plant cell, you'll kind of learn about eukaryotic cells and how they differ from prokaryotic cells, all right? Another really good resource is this video right here, and I highly recommend you guys watch it because it's going to give you a, an overview of how they're similar, how they're different, and it's just a great all-around video. Now, she does talk a little fast, and it is a very short video. I think it's only about a minute and a half long so um, it's very short but it's very efficient as well and I recommend you doing it. Once you've done that you're gonna go ahead and fill out this Google form down here. You're gonna put your name, your last name, and your period. This is super important. If you put the wrong period it's gonna get filed under the wrong thing and you're gonna get a zero so let's not do that okay? The only question you're answering here is you're going to explain the difference between a eukaryote and a prokaryote to me. So three sentences should be enough. If you want to go in more in depth, that's perfectly fine with me. So just kind of to each your own, okay? If we keep going down on this website, we have another just for fun. There's the one on animal cells if you haven't been there yet, so you'll see it twice. But this is just telling you how to make a prokaryote at home. You don't have to do it. It's really fun. We've done it in class a couple times, but we're going to have time to do it this year. So if you want to do it at home, take some pictures of it. That's great. Share it with us. I'd love to share it with the class, but people love it. So I'd recommend doing it if you like it, okay? Now down here is a little saying, and I'll let you read it, but it's a great saying that actually helped me understand the difference between the two, prokaryote and eukaryote, okay? My biology teacher taught it to me when I was in high school, so I thought I'd share the wealth. If we keep going down, we have our two links right here. You'll notice you probably saw these on the home page, okay? 
these links are going to directly send you to either an animal cell or a plant cell, okay? The one that's not there is typically the one that you're going to be on, okay? So we're on prokaryotics, that's why you don't see it. If we keep going down the page, we're almost done here. We've got a little thing right here. If you have any questions and you need to ask me, I'll be more than happy to add, answer them. It's going to go straight to my email. And I think that's it because I've already covered the different links and everything. So I wish you guys the best of luck. I'm sure you guys will do great as you always do, okay? Thank you very much and good luck.